Hello everyone. This is Prashant. Welcome to my channel. So yesterday I taught you the basic of the framework like uh, what are the folders available and I created a one get request and I showed you how to set up the get request, how to create a module in a get request, everything, right? Today I am going to teach you the post request. Okay? How to implement in the framework. So for this it is very simple. I am going to copy the same code which we created yesterday. Okay? I am going to simply paste that okay see this i simply wasted this is the post request post next one is i want to call the post method from the request okay from the request i want to call the post method as well okay now you want to understand the basic of the post method post method is used to create a new data into the database okay that is use of post method get method is to get some data from the database okay so if you want to create a new data means you want to send some data suppose you are creating a facebook account means you want to create a sign up with your email id password data but so and so some other data is right so that means you want to pass the data to create a new like instance in the database so for that you want to pass the data okay after passing the data then you want to pass the data in the post request as a json so data okay so when you for the get request you want to only pass the endpoint but for the post request you want to pass the data which which want to going to create a new in the database okay the same coming here i'm copying the same code so i'm going to paste it this is the create user last one is get test get user this is test create user and in the get method i want to pass the post okay as i said earlier i want to pass the data so right now i want to create data like so for this api like api we have this uh, three parameters i want to pass so user data equal to so json format json format everyone knows key and pair so in this i'm going to pass name name as prashant comma next one is user name so this user is QA user next one is email okay this email is simple i'm going to put test at gmail.com okay right now data is ready now i want to pass the data for this function so simply i'm going to pass user data see this now we done it next one is we are going to print the response which is coming from the create user okay and then this one is 201 why 201 200 is successful message but 201 is create message so something is created successfully in the database that is a 201 okay then i don't want to validate the this one so length right now we don't need okay so i'm going to run this one so see here clearly there are two test cases one is passed which one is get user next one is create user i got passed and this is the response see here this is the response we got it from the post request so i'm going to validate here what validation really the data is sent name as prashant or not so how to test that assertion so this is you want to listen carefully assertion from the response dot json from the json what is the key the key is the name name is the key okay i'm going to give the name so and what is the name double equal to it's a prashant or not so that's my validation right see here cool right so this is this will validate the really the data is sent and created is name as prashant or not okay so i'm going to run this code again see again both are passed suppose i'm giving a wrong like prashant one two three i want to this is the expectation means so see what is happening assertion got error because i'm saying i'm giving a prashant as a actual value but you are expecting a one two three as a expected value so both mismatch the assertion got failure so this is the one thing and next i'm going to give you another important point 
so whenever you're going to validate the post request the next second you want to send the get request to verify the data are stored stored properly okay so how to do that i guess we have everything already simply copy this one and paste it here okay so but in this time last time i will give random users but this time i'm going to validate a the exact person who the exact person the exact person which created 11 okay so but i cannot give 11 why if you see it's a testing website so that's why it's about only 10 users that it will show us so whatever we adding it will delay it every every second because it won't store directly but in your project you are going to give the correct one so how to you will get the correct one see here i'm going to get a value like id equal to response dot json as an what is that what is the key anyone says id right id is the key so you want to store the id and you want to pass that id in the this place that's how the real time you want to do it okay but here for testing purpose i'm giving 10 and in the assertion so what I need to do, this is a 200, because why 200, because this is a get request and I want to change the name as well, right, because already the variable name response is different. So I am going to print this, change this, change this, and what is the value of 10, the name of the 10 is something, Clementi DQ, PQ, something, ah, even I don't know, okay, this name is the, the actual for the database, okay, so what we done? So, but in real time, you will pass this ID here and name as Prashant in if you are using in your real time projects. So, how the test case want to be right for post request? First, you want to send the post request. Then the same next line, you want to call the get request based upon the ID which is generated for your user and validate the all the data are stored correctly or not. So, I am going to run this. Cool, right? all are works fine so when i send 11 so when i send 10 means this is the data is coming for me so the same what we printing here so this is the one okay see here all are came into the picture so now go and see the report that's it right click open default browser see this there are two test cases no errors right so how cool right so this is the code which we write so if you had uh, any doubts please let me know so tomorrow i'm going to cover the post request put request and delete request before that in real time we cannot hard code all the data some keys we want to re like suppose take an example email is the unique id for means every time you want to send a new email id then only your test case will pass otherwise what will happen na? you will get an access when like already the email id is there right so that accession will occur so we want to modify the email every time. So in tomorrow video, I'm going to teach you first how to dynamically change every time or how to keep this data in the another outside file and how to fetch it into the, then put and post request, put, put and delete request. And that is the last, tomorrow is the last day for the basic of this one. Then we directly going to the get and get up actions. Okay. So thanks for watching. So if you have any doubts, please put me in the comment. If you like the video, please like and share to your friends. Uh, thanks for watching.